Good morning. It's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, Victoria. Hit the little blue button. Click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. It's day two of the All City Sale. I was up at 5.30 this morning to take the dog out and uh, it's just me and the loons on the really clear lake. And we're ready, are we ready? <laughs> Six, it's 6.46 and we gotta go find those Lululemon leggings. So we're off for a day of adventure. My mother-in-law bailed on us today. So it's just me and my number one junket buddy. Ready? Yeah. Awesome, let's go. We've been junking for two hours. Uh, the trunk's almost full. The back mm -hmm. seat's got a bunch of stuff in it. Uh, we've been having a good day. Banger of a day. What'd you find? Two Lululemon pants. Yeah, two Lululemon leggings. 30 bucks for the, both of them, which is good if you know Lululemon. I found a plant. They were like brand plant. new. I found two fake plants and it's a duck. We stopped for a little snack, a little sustenance. She's running low on energy here. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna head out to the, hopefully some more old sales. I haven't got a lot of linens. I went to my favorite place first. I said that yesterday, we were gonna go to that one. And um, it was not a letdown. <laughs> I spent mm -mm. $36 there. Mm -hmm. And wait till you see what that, I got. And none of that was on me. None of that was on her. Ooh, that's good. That was all on me, $36, and it was worth it. I got way more than $36 worth of stuff. So it's overall, so far today, shaping up to be a great day. We may be out of money by tomorrow. Oops, $30 on leggings came okay. out of my pocket. It's okay, because we can just look at three boxes. Free boxes it is. Oh my goodness, <gasps> a free box? We hit a free box honey hole. Oh my god. She got sweatshirts up the wing wing. Mm -hmm. And I got, she had vintage whiskey decanters. She had a vintage vase, old um, um, poker chips, wooden poker chips. Mm -hmm. The set was damaged, but still it's, it's incredible for free. I'll still make money on it, um, but it was good. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go back out after we eat. So, uh -huh. more later. Okay, end of day two, and let's see what I got. So first, first of all, another rolling pin. This was 50 cents. Um, I got two of these dolls. They are porcelain sleepy eye dolls, and they were a dollar each. I got a Fenway Park sign. Just walls and smalls are always good to have. I got a chenille teddy bear. So Victoria got one like this a couple of years ago and she paid a dollar for it. I got this one for $2. Not overly fond of the lace around its neck, but I think I can take that off. I think it's just tacked on there. I don't think it's sewn in the seam. Um, this is a cute bear without the lace. So if I can get that off, that'll be a good deal. Um, the white pumpkin was 50 cents. It clearly has seen better days. It's still got the tag on it, but that's just been abused. So it might have to get painted if I can't clean it off. Um, those were a dollar for all those candy canes. The stocking there, the brand new stocking. Martha Stewart everyday stocking, 25 cents. It's wool. I've got quite a few Christmas stockings for this year. I got this little fork and it was free and I think Naomi can use it for one of her projects. So I picked it up for her. I don't think it's sterling. Let me look. No, no, I don't think so. But I think she can use this. I think it'll be cute for her projects. I got a winter dress coat. It was $5. It's in very good condition. It's got some hair all over it, but um, I don't have winter dress coat. My coat is, well, you guys have seen it in videos. It's just very warm, but it's not very nice. So when we go out nice places, I wanted to have something that I could wear and, you know, look put together. 
I got a lot of stuff for myself. So Victoria saw this little meat chopper. It was 50 cents, so we got that. She's been wanting one of those. I got this for Naomi. I don't know if she can use it. It was only 50 cents, the shorter one. Uh, picture hangers, always need those. And then a box of nails for myself. Those were 25 cents, 25 cents. I got this whole lot of temperature gauges for a dollar. Don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I figured I could price them individually and just put them out as smalls. For a dollar, I got a phone sanitizer. Don't know why. We just decided, hey, we needed one. I've been wanting one of these. This was two fifty, and it is a travel humidifier. You put a water bottle in it. Um, I cannot stand how dry hotel rooms are when we travel, so I wanted to get one of these. Um, it's a nice little humidifier with a water bottle on it. Oh yeah, it was brand new. Still unopened, brand new. Victoria found this little guy in a free box. So she gave him to me for Christmas stuff. Um, probably get a dollar price tag on it. A little cup. This amazing lampshade was 25 cents. Here's the funny part. It has a screw on light socket that they cut the uh, cord off of to get it off. I still don't know why. So, I'll have to figure that one out. I got this green hanging light. You can see it was $7.50. I am in love with it. It was one of my favorite finds today. These hockey skates were $3. We have a rink that we do every year, and we always pick up extras to keep on hand for company that comes in different sizes. Um, so, Victoria thought these would be a good size for her friends. I feel like I paid up for these. They were $10 for the drawers, but I sold my drawers, so it was time to get new ones. This was 25 cents. It's in really good shape. It's really clean inside. Um, Victoria and I still use these for lunches, so we have a tan one, now we have a green one. I paid up for this. It's a pickle lifter missing its lid, but it was $3, but these are hard to find. The inserts are missing from almost all of the ones I have. And it turns out there are two different sizes of these vintage green ones. So if you find the larger one, it won't fit on the smaller one. And if you have the smaller one, it just floats in the larger one. So I picked it up because I have several at home that don't have these in it. And I wanted to make sure that I could, because these are, these are easy sellers. They sell right away. And then lead for mechanical pencils. Victoria prefers mechanical pencils and I told her we would be on the lookout for lead and new pencils at garage sales that she found too. This is an amazing kaleidoscope. There's two of them. There's another one in the box in the bag. This will be an easy sell. Let's see if we can see. Can you see in there? Let me see. That's a pretty good view in there. But there's two of them at 75 cents. Victoria wanted this mis whisk whisker, so you push down on it and it spins. So she's, I've always wanted one of those. I'm like, all right, it was 25 cents. A pillow cover for a lot of the feather inserts that we found over the past winter. It was $3, eat more bacon. I got five very dirty dish towels. They were 10 cents a piece, but they had some embroidery on them and I got them. And try and clean them up but they're red there's that other doll this was 25 cents for schmidt beer towel you know beer stuff i got these straw replacements mostly for us because we have so many of these but this is specific to this kind of i think it'll work on the one i'm thinking of at home but if not oh well it was 25 cents i got a clothing hook which i can't pull out right now this was in a free box, so I'm going to clean that up. This is a Tang cooler, Tang dispenser. It was 50, 10 cents. So here's fun fact. At the thrift store by my house, this was $12, which is crazy for a thrift store. But at the garage sale, oh my goodness, freaking mosquitoes, 10 cents. Got a Halloween pumpkin inside of the Halloween pumpkin. Got a dresser set. There's a full set. It was $2 for this one. It has the comb and the mirror in here. 
so you can see the mirror and the comb. And then they had dog poo bags, three for a dollar. So I got three of those because you need to know that. At the same sale, I got this jacket. It was one dollar. Looks like brand new. It is a really nice jacket. I bought way too much stuff for myself, but it's like a it's kind of got it's like a windbreaker and a sweatshirt. I don't know how to describe it. But it was really nice and it was one dollar. Also, one dollar at that sale was McDonald Camp McDonald's. These mosquitoes are terrible. This little guy was $1, and that was the same place I got that hanging green lamp. And he also sold me this one for $1, which is a really nice one. And in case you thought we were done, I got all this stuff today too. And I'm not even out of money yet. Everything in this box was free. This is a liquor bottle decanter. It doesn't have the top, but it was free. This one has the cork, but not the top. And it's a bowling one, and it was free. This uh, sifter was free. And then this is a set of wood poker chips in a set that this is broken on this side, but this was all free. So if I get anything for any of these, it's it's all profit. This is an embossed leather matador theme amber glass whiskey bottle. That's got to be listed. I've never seen anything like that. Um, I paid a dollar for it, but that's incredible. I love it. Hager Bud Vase. That was one dollar. One dollar for this. Um, I think it's called salt glaze, isn't it? The blue pottery. It doesn't have a cork or anything, but I'll have to look up the maker's mark there. That was $1. I thought it was totally worth it. Even if I put a couple bucks on it and put it in the booth, it'll still make money. $1 for vintage Noma bubble lights. $1 for this lemonade dispenser. All of the can cozies inside were free. $1 for a boxwood wreath. $1 for the Polka Lovers Club of America thermal serve mug vintage probably from the 70s they didn't have a price on the tupperware shaker it's complete uh, so they gave it to me it was 25 cents for this lovely little flower it's a metal flower i have no idea why this entire box he sold to me for 25 dollars. so it's got old tins of all kinds on it it's got old kitchenware, um, spice containers, including all of these, this little baking soda, arm and hammer, cardboard box, poppy seed, all of this. This, the tar soap, tin, the jerky spice, all spice. A little shoe brush, juicer, cutter, or this might be a lid for something. I don't think that's a cutter. Um, this is a nut chopper. It's missing its top. And then this measuring cup. And ice cream scoop. All of this. Uh, cheese grater. $25. Very large hobnail bucket for... Um, I think this was 50 cents. This was 50 cents. It's Grumpy from Snow White. And Minnie was a dollar, I think. So Minnie Mouse, it's got the Disney sticker on it. She was one dollar. This is a Pyrex percolator. I've purchased them before. They only had $15 on this. I can part it out for about 50. And that includes like the basket and everything in it. I'll sell separately and it'll be about 50 bucks. This last box is the best sale of the day. So Victoria asked me to buy her. This was 50 cents. Um, no, 25. Cool, even better. She wanted a Christmas soap dispenser, so I got it for her. Salt and pepper shakers. They were 250 for the pair. Christmas salt and pepper shakers were a dollar for the pair. Really nice shape. Cute, cute salt and pepper shakers. 
I was specifically asked from the new shop to get salt and pepper shakers. So these little baby ducks for 25 cents and they're just so sweet. I had to get them. Look how cute. She had some, some Tupperware lids at that place. This was all 50 cents. So I, of course, snagged Tupperware lids, including the um, creamer lid. I don't have a creamer that needs a lid, but when I find one, I'll be happy I have it or I'll sell it as a replacement piece. She wrapped everything. Good Lord. Ah, Mama Duck was $2 all hand done um they don't technically go together but they're going to in my booth because how cute yes i see him too isn't he great vintage gnome dollar fifty this entire bag was 25 cents and it's just little turnkey tags little gummed labels just little bo a little books that say different things. Gummed patches, mending tape, little crap. Nice spot. Crap. <laughs> and here, what do I have in here? I don't even know. It's another one. It's another little gnomey. Little vintage gnome. He was 50 cents. Um, this guy will be about 40 in my booth, so he's going to make back the whole purchase. This entire box was $36. Because this is Hall. It was one dollar. This beautiful Hall pitcher. This is the little mini pitcher that matches it. So I'm just going to stick those together. Just imagine that only this big. Victoria wanted to buy this. This is Avon. I wouldn't have picked it up, but she wanted it. So it's fifty cents. Got another jug. This is 50 cents. So it's a good one. And this was it's like one of those made in Italy pottery things. 50 cents. One dollar for a bunch of zinc lids. And 50 cents for this lovely pottery piece. I went ahead and unboxed the mini haul. So that was a dollar for the little one. It says haul on it. And before I forget, we picked up this little air fryer for $3. Still had the box and everything. They just had a, decided to get a larger one. It works great. Margo sighting. Hi, Margo. Hi, Margo. Happy girl. And that's it for me today. Victoria, my mother-in-law, just went to... Bingo for the night. Margo and I are going to stay home. I'm not interested. I'm tired. Victoria's tired. She found a lot of good stuff too. I didn't show you everything she got. Um, but I spent a lot of money on us instead of like booth stuff because I didn't find any. Like I don't know where my old ladies are unless they're dying off. But um, a lot of Target stuff. A lot of newer stuff. Um, the vintage stuff was few and far between this year. Which was hard, but there's more sales tomorrow. One more day of this. There's one more day that we'll go through and we'll we'll just see what they've got up there. I mean, there's quite a few sales that direction we didn't get to. We went way into the country today to get a lot of that stuff. Um, she got two pairs of Lululemon leggings. Um, beautiful, brand new. <laughs> they fit her perfectly. They were $15 a piece, piece, so I ended up spending $30 today on her leggings. She also got, um, yesterday, a prom dress for $50. So, like, $80 of my money was spent on the kiddo. And then I bought myself a winter coat, and I bought the, you know, the chopper, the meat chopper and stuff for the house. And it's like, oh, well. You know, they were good deals. I needed a coat. She needed a dress. She needs, you know, back to school stuff. So we just did it. Just did what we did. I'm exhausted. We were up at 530. We were to the first sale by 7 a.m. 
and the woman had said she had Lululemon. So we wanted to make sure we got there early because that's specifically what Victoria was hoping to find. We got there and she goes, well, a lot of it was pre-sold. Don't advertise it if you're going to pre-sell it on Facebook. That's BS. Like if you put an ad in and it specifically lists the first thing as Lululemon, have some Lululemon there. You know, it's crazy to me. Like that's rude. That's just false advertisement. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. That's just wrong. And I'm sure they're thinking, oh, that way we know it'll sell. It'll sell. Obviously, if they're calling to buy it ahead of time. And then today there were a lot of dealers. There was one guy and he was listing from the people's driveway. First of all, he parked in their driveway. You don't park in the driveway unless it's a long country driveway, right? This was not a long country driveway. This was a city lot. And he pulled his Prius into the driveway and he's taking pictures in their driveway. First of all, rude. Like if you're a dealer and you know you're going to make so much more online, at least leave their property before you insult them like that. That's just rude. That is bad reseller etiquette. And you can fight me if you want to. But at least pull away from the property before you start looking up stuff and listing it, taking pictures and putting it online. It's like, dude, rude. And you're blocking the driveway. Why are you in the driveway? We don't pull in the driveway. We don't pull in the driveway. That's garage sale etiquette 101 and when i see people do it i'm like is that an east coast thing because we don't do that here in minnesota you don't pull in the driveway anyway we're done for the day i'm exhausted they're gone i'm gonna rustle up something for myself for dinner and sit here with my dog and be quiet for a while <laughs> i don't get a lot of me and margo time so it's kind of nice to just have some peace and quiet up here for a minute. I'm seeing, I'm going to sit out here and watch the people on the lake. Happy junkin' you guys. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week. DIY tutorials, and of course, more Junkin' videos.